every youth needs to tap into initiatives that will promote climate action, and that's starting from the grassroots. But that's according to the Commissioner for Youth and Social Development during the 10th Lagos International Climate Change Summit. Esther Omopariola reports. It's the second day of the Lagos International Climate Change Summit. Dignitaries, experts, and environment enthusiasts are here to discuss issues bordering on climate change. At one of the panel sessions, the focus is on climate finance and its critical role in driving climate action. Experts and environmental advocates provide insights on how to harness financial resources for environmental sustainability. Climate finance plays a very crucial role in facilitating inclusive, gender-responsive and youth-oriented cities. Without finance, we cannot do anything. We need to understand that uh, everything we are doing today contributes to climate finance because that funding, that money you are give, being given to build your entrepreneur is from the climate finance because there's need for you to also recruit more people to join you in your actions or the projects that you're working on. If we can collaboratively work together with the government at the local level, at the state level, to harness the potential that exists in young people, I think we'd be talking about small solutions. In efforts to ensure no one is left behind, stakeholders emphasize the importance of early education on climate change. They believe it can create a lasting positive impact. Government can begin you know, to sponsor this to ensure that the curriculum are achieved and we impute stuff that can endanger environmental sustainability. We need to wrap up and invest money that are focusing and put it to cash. We have to take a collaborative division of education, but we need to do much more than that. The summit aims to foster discussions that will lead to actionable solutions, ensuring that Lagos remains a livable coastal city for generations to come. Esther Macariola, TVC News.